All right, let's go ahead and talk about coming over the top. One of the worst problems in golf today. And I'm going to share with you a couple thoughts and maybe a drill to help get rid of this problem. But just before we get started, I want you all to know that the root of the problem lies in this, this preoccupation with the club head. And what I mean by that is people get preoccupied with trying to get the club head down to the ball to, so they can make center contact. So they're really trying to control the motion to really get the club to hit the back of the ball. The other thing that happens a lot is people get to trying to move the club faster in the downswing to get more distance. But in both those situations, the root cause is this preoccupation with the club and trying to direct it. When you watch great players, they get, to the, they, get, they get to the top of their swing and they leave the golf club alone. The club is allowed to lag and the club actually moves away from the ball as opposed to towards the ball. Okay, so I'm going to show you some video so you can get a sense of what that, what that looks like. All right, so let's take a look at that from the down the line view. Uh, I've got one of my very good junior golfers here. She does have a little tendency to come over the top. You'll see as she gets to the top, so here's the, the completion of her top of backswing. I'm going to draw a line right down her shaft. And you're going to see as she starts her downswing, the club is going to get steeper and it's going to move over that line. So that's not what we want at the top. You're going to see as she continues to move down, she's coming down at a pretty steep angle. And you can see all the muscles along her right shoulder and her upper right arm are definitely a little too active early on in this downswing. So here we have Alvaro Quiros. And you notice, um, you know, he's one of the longest hitters in golf today. But when he gets to the top of his backswing, I'm going to draw another line there. Watch how the club works away from the golf ball, okay, or down his back. You can see, I mean, that would be a very strange feeling for a lot of you as that club works away from the ball early on in that downswing. Um, it would not feel like you were generating or creating a lot of power, but we all know he hits the ball farther than just about anybody. All right, so here's the drill that I want you all to do to get this same sensation. You've seen it on video in action. Now here's a great drill so you can get that same look in your golf swing. So what I actually want you to do is take a club, swing it up to the top, and just let it fall straight behind you. And that drill looks pretty easy to do. You might want to take it slow at first till you get a sensation of just allowing that club to fall. But what you'll definitely notice in order for that to happen, as I got to the top here, the club just falls horizontally. There's no tension in my right shoulder, my right arm, or my right hand. I'm just totally leaving this club alone and allowing it to stay behind me and lag and trail, which is exactly the sensation that we want. And that's the sensation that you get when you start to hit the ball the farthest and you get the best contact on the face of the club. It's one that's totally the opposite of what you would think you needed to do. So from this view, it looks like this. And then you can go ahead and hit balls with that same sensation. So now from the face on view, I've got one of my students here that uh, definitely struggles with coming over the top a little bit. And uh, you can see one part of the golf swing that's really important. Here he is, he just reached the top of his backswing. Okay, if I draw a horizontal line with where that club is at the top of his backswing, you're going to notice from this position on through the downswing, the club is only going to move up above that line. And that's not something you see great players do. You can see that angle is going to get farther and farther as he gets uh, closer and closer to the ball in his downswing. And like we said, that's in an effort to move the club head with his hands and arms. And he's actually a pretty good golfer too. Um, but you can definitely see there he is going to the club head with his hands and arms, activating those muscles in his upper right side. And you can see the angle between his left wrist and the club shaft are getting farther and farther apart as he gets into his downswing. So now we got Sean O'Hare here, and he is at the top of his backswing. And if I draw that same, same line at the top, watch how the club seems to fall and get closer to him. That's why I would definitely suggest as you work on this, it's not a sensation of pulling down. That's not, what, that's not what's going to get rid of your over-the-top sensation. It's just like that drill uh, prescribes. It's a feeling of letting, the, letting your hands and arms fall 
from the very top of the downswing. So once again, here he is at the at the very top. And you can see as he starts down, watch the club shaft fall and get closer to him. So that creates that narrow look with lag and the club trailing. He's preserving a lot of angle. And that's really delaying the hit as he gets into the ball. You can see by the time he gets to this position, their hands are about the same spot. But you can see how much more angle he has between his right forearm and the club shaft. And it's a very passive move. It's not something that takes strength. Um, it's something that, that requires you to really leave the club alone.